Hello everybody, welcome to Daily Entomologist, and in this short pinning video, I'll be going over how to pin uh, true bugs in the order, order Hemiptera. Alright, so as you can see here, I have some Phimata uh, species, some ambush bugs I caught in the yard. Um, unfortunately, I really don't have any bigger Hemipterans to do this with. Um, so we're, I'm going to be uh, pinning these. But I did take out some other ones to show you. Um, so I'm going to use this uh, a giant water bug here as uh, an example. So in hemipterans, um, you have the pronotum up here, and then you have the wings down here, and then you have this triangle right here, and this triangle is called the scutellum. And it's in this triangle where you want to pin uh, true bugs. So you can see here, this pin right here, it's in the triangle, just right of center. Um, So if it's like in the center or whatever, that's fine. But uh, this triangle is the location to where you want to pin. So we have that large one. Here's a Coraid, a species of leaf-footed bug. And as you can see here, that yellow little uh, triangle area. And that's where the pin is. Uh, so here is a species of assassin bug. Um, though even though it's dark in color, I think you can make out the triangle area right there. And that's where the pin is. Here is a large milkweed bug. And once again, this dark black area right here, that's the scutellum, the triangle. Um, so, so, those are, use those as examples to show, uh, show you the actual uh, um, thing. Um, but, for example, uh, cicadas. Um, in cicadas, I pin up in this area right here. Um, I believe that's the pronotum. I'm not, I, I don't know if this is the scutellum right down here or what. Um, I haven't really looked it up. But cicadas I pin up in this area right here. I never had any problems. Um, so lots of hemipterans are really small and uh, kind of don't need to be pinned. So what I do is I point. Um, so like uh, leaf hoppers, plant hoppers, tree hoppers, um, small plant bugs, all those types of stuff, I use points. Um, as you can see here, we got this uh, plant hopper right here. Um, basically, I use a special hole puncher I got from uh, BioQuip. You see the hole right there? It um, uh, does uh, points and I put the pin through it like this and then put a little dot of glue on it and then I pin the insect. Um, so this is actually true for other uh, pointing other orders as well. 
but you can see from here you point on the right side um, so you have the inset facing that way and then the point underneath the right side of the body and that's um, how you do the small uh, small hemipterans. Um, there's also a lot of soft bodied ones like aphids and all that type of stuff that you would uh, have completely different things. But if you're just starting out you're gonna be doing the large stuff. Um, so if you are just starting out I should say aim for the large insects that just require pins so you don't have to go through the process of pointing and all, all that type of stuff. Um, do all that uh, the pinning specimens first to get you um, the experience you need. Now, although these are uh, small, sorry, I just hit the camera. You can see a little triangle right there. And I'm using size zero pins for these small specimens. Put the pin in the triangle. Make sure it's perpendicular and push down. And there you have it. A uh, pinned ambush book. Um, so I hope this uh, helped give you a little bit of information on pinning true bugs. Um, a few of uh, these examples worked. Um, again, if you have any questions and all that type of stuff, uh, ask in the comments and I'll answer them to the best of my ability. Um, I hope this, uh, true bug pinning tutorial helped out a little. Uh, so, um, stay tuned for the, uh, next, uh, pinning tutorial.